Hi, so it's Catherine, um, and I've been thinking about doing videos like this for a while, and after I read this book, I had to. I decided I wanted to start doing some book reviews. Um, obviously not too often, because I don't read books that often, but I get on kicks. Um, so the book I just finished reading is this one, it's called Justice by Karen Roberts. Um, she's actually currently my favorite writer um, because um, as a reader, I love romance novels, um, but I don't like teen romance novels because they're just, you know, unrealistic, cheesy, um, and a little mature. Um, so I prefer more mature romance novels. But um, when you say mature romance novels, of course, um, you have to take into consideration that there will be sex scenes. Um, I guess, it, would they be called scenes? We'll call them scenes. Um, and what I like about her is not only is she a, a fantastic writer, but she has very, very minimal um, sex scenes. In this one, there was only one. It was very short, um, so it wasn't too big of a deal. It wasn't too, you know, descriptive or, you know, where it's like you start to wonder whether the book is, like, porn, you know. I, like, it's a struggle to find books um, because though I want that mature relationships and um, romance, I don't want <laughs> all of that, you know, descriptive sex scenes and stuff. It's just weird, I guess. Um, so I do like that about her. Um, but also, like I said, she's just a fantastic writer. Um, and what I like is that she, this, as you can see, is called Justice. Um, and I was kind of, you know, a little apprehensive picking up this book because it's more of a, um, it's not just solely a romance novel, it's about justice. Um, so it's got that crime and lawyer, you know, kind of aspect to it. So I was worried that it was going to be focused on that, and wasn't going to be too much of the romance side, which I decided to pick up the book because I wanted to broaden my horizon and not just stick to romance novels. Um, so I was very happy with this because though it did have that strong romantic side, a lot of the novel was that criminal, lawyer side of things that I actually do enjoy, like through TV shows and stuff. So it was a very, very good read. Um, so I think I'll just read the back for you. Um, and obviously in the title there's the name so if you want to check it out please please do um if you're apprehensive about the sex scene just skip it it really doesn't do anything it, like it's it's there for romance it doesn't like add a lot to the plot line so it's easy to just skip it so yeah here we go ever since one second Ever since feisty criminal attorney Jessica Ford started her dream job at prestigious Washington, D.C. law firm, her mind has raced with questions like why the hell her hunky ex Secret Service agent Mike Mark Ryan insists on being her personal bodyguard. Maybe winning her first high-profile trial wasn't exactly the key to finding her true identity, but nobody is actually trying to kill her, right? After Mark rescues Jess from an attacker outside her apartment, she begins to wonder if she is a target. Her ambitious young predecessor on the case has vanished without a trace, and no one has heard from the prosecution's star witness since she made a shocking courtroom revelation. Are the disappearance simply a coincidence? As Jess hurdles closer to the truth and her attraction to Mark heats up, she finds herself in a race for answers before what she doesn't know gets them both killed. So yeah, it's definitely a good read, and I would su suggest it to anybody who likes romance and also likes, you know, kind of a thriller, you know, crime, investigation, stuff like that. But yeah, so 
if you'd like, you can subscribe or like or comment. And if you did like this kind of video and you did subscribe or you did like or anything, um, tell me what you think in the comments below. Because um, I always like to get feedback. Because constructive criticism is always good. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.